Uh, we'd now sort of like to talk about some of the parts and specifically the levers in a truck scale. And we're trying to point these out as much as possible. This is a main lever and this is a main lever and obviously uh, those are in parallel. This is actually uh, a section of a scale, this is a section, and then there are two more sections on the other side of the scale. And you'll see uh, this is a four section scale. And what would happen is uh, this is a class two uh, device lever because this is the fulcrum stand and the fulcrum stand is outside the load point this is going to be the load point right here. Uh, this is a ball type of suspension in a HAL supercast system. So fulcrum, load, this is the load point that gets transferred right through here. This is going to be the load point of that lever. And this is going to be the power point. Okay. Now the next type of lever we'll talk about will be the end extension lever. And one of the things that you'll notice about the end extension lever is that this lever will extend typically from the end of the scale up to uh, the, the center, out away from the approach walls to the center of the scale. So <clears throat> this end extension lever would now come out to a center extension lever, which is this lever right here. The relationship between the load applied from the end of the end extension lever through the center extension lever out to the transverse lever is basically a one-to-one. -one. So in, you know, what we have the ability, uh, we'll talk about making adjustments on a scale a, a little bit differently, but we have main levers here and here. We have an end extension lever here, we have a center extension lever here, and then finally uh, we have an up-pull transverse lever right here. Uh, other parts of the scale uh, will actually, yeah, I'll just go ahead and go here, uh, this is going to be a fulcrum stand. Again, this is the main lever. Uh, this is a ball type of suspension you'll see and this is an example of a HAL supercast system. Uh, this is a girder chair right here and the, this, this plate or the upper bearing plate uh, would attach to the bottom of the Weybridge steel. Uh, these are cross members for the Weybridge steel. That would be the fulcrum stand for the end extension lever. This would be the center connection for the end extension lever connecting it to the center extension lever. Again, we have another pair of main levers that would connect to this aspect of the center extension lever. Uh, and again, you have nose, you'll notice you have nose irons. Uh, if, for instance, that section of the scale needed a little bit of adjusting. Uh, we would slow it down or speed it up by right here. If these two sections on this side of the scale need to be adjusted up or down, we would use this adjustment right here to speed up or slow down. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit more. And uh, typically, this would be, this is an example of a load cell or a mechanical scale converted to Levertronic because it, it has a load cell on the end of a nose iron on the end of the transverse lever.